Hey y'all, Jared's Creation Dirt Sanity here. So today I'm doing that glitter base and I'm using the Tacket method for this. So all that glitter that I have laid out in front of me, I've made my own color mixture. I've used each of those glitters and just poured a little bit into those, those are little three ounce Dixie cups. And I just poured a little bit into each of those cups and just kept adding this this color or that color until I got a color that I like. So now I'm mixing up my Tacket. I'm using the Aileen's Tacket over and over. I have, oh, I think it's probably about a tablespoon of water into that cup. And then I added about that much of the Tacket into the cup. So one to one ratio. And just mix that up um, until you have kind of like a slurry consistency. Now, I find doing that, mixing the water with the Tacket, I find it a little easier to use the Tacket that way. Um, I think it kind of goes on smoother, um, more even when I do this. So now I'm just using a foam brush to evenly coat my vase. Once I have it evenly coated, don't forget the bottom. I will leave this set for a minute or two just to, to let it get tacky. So at that point, I start pouring on my glitter. Um, I will reuse my glitter. So you'll see me put it back into my cup and reuse it here. To get my bottom, I just um, tapped it had a little pile there and just tapped the bottom onto that glitter. So, yep, we're using my glitter there. Um, when I have this fully covered, I will leave this to dry. And I'll leave it overnight to dry. Um, I'm doing a second layer here. But before doing my second layer, I sprayed it with that Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss Spray. Now I did that to seal in my first layer so that when I'm putting my second on, I don't disturb any of that glitter that's already on there. So I'm just, and I'm using the same mixture that I mixed up the first time. All I did was cover it up so it wouldn't dry out. And yeah, just put um, a thin even coat on top of that first layer. Coming in here with my glitter, sprinkling it all over, making sure it's all even, and then I will leave this set to completely dry. And I will, when it's dry, I will spray it again with that Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss Spray just to seal it all in, let it completely dry. And now I've got it on my turner and I'm putting a layer of resin on. So I will just keep doing this here until I have a thin even coat. Um, I will hit it with my heat gun to even out the resin and to get any bubbles. I will then leave it on my turner to cure. Um, I, it just kind of depends on the time. Um, I would say anywhere from, oh, six to eight hours. Actually, this was a little longer because it was cooler. So I'd say about eight hours or so. Now I wanted to put a second um, coat of resin on here, but I, I let this set for several days before I was able to do it. So now I'm coming in here with a sanding block, um, roughing up that first layer, just so that my second has kind of a tooth to hold on to. Now, if I do my second coat within a 24 hour period, I don't need to rough it up. But roughing it up also, now this is more for like a chunky glitter, if you're using chunky, it will um, sand off any like bits that are sticking out of your first layer of epoxy and just kind of make it all smooth before adding your second. So yeah, when I was done sanding, I just wiped it off with a dry paper towel. Then I got my alcohol and cleaned it off really good before putting on my second layer. 
Again, that was just a repeat process, so I didn't show that. Um, let it spin until it was cured, and here is the final piece. I did go ahead and crochet up some white roses. I think they look really pretty in this. I chose white because I didn't want to take a, um, anything away from that beautiful glitter. So I thought white worked really, really well. But yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And until next time, see ya!